All right, everyone, welcome back for another mail day video. I uh, do have quite a bit of uh, packages here to open. I do have about six or seven that I have to open again for the next episode. So I picked the oldest packages I had. Uh, so if you sent something recently and I'm not opening it up into this uh, in this mail day, I do have another six or seven, like I said. Uh, but this should be really exciting. Thank you to everyone who sent mail. I know the past couple months on YouTube have been very, very rough um, from my standpoint. Um, some issues with monetization, some issues with subscribers, you know, um, in terms of uh, view count, subscriber count, things have kind of gone away a little bit, and I don't know what's going on with that within the algorithm and all that, but um, it truly means a lot that there's still a lot of support for the channel. So thank you to everyone who's like sent super chats, super thanks, uh, picked up taco stacks, merchandise, have sent things uh, in the mail. All this kind of support really means a lot and it helps uh, helps give me that motivation back uh, that people still really truly appreciate the channel and appreciate the content being posted. Um, because I know sometimes in these rough months it can be get, it kind of difficult. You know, you go through some, uh, some rough phases here and there. Uh, but nonetheless, thank you everyone out there who sent wonderful mail. We'll jump into this. Uh, if anyone out there wants to send anything through my P.O. box, my P.O. box is still available. I'll put the put the information in the description below. So if you're watching on TV, you might have to jump onto a computer. Uh, but if you're on a computer or a tablet or something, my information will be below. All you have to do is copy and paste it into whatever format. But let's jump into it. Thank you again to everyone who sent mail. We'll start off here with our first letter. That's from Frank and Rita. I know Frank and Rita have sent a bunch of things in the past. Uh, this one's from Michigan. Uh, so I greatly appreciate that, Frank and Rita. Uh, this, I believe, is the only letter I do have for today's episode. So we have a very nice Indian Wesleyan University letter. And we have a little monetary gift, so thank you for that. Hi Taco, we love your YouTube videos and I'm glad you're still out there keeping busy and helping the environment, saving useful lives from being thrown away to landfills. Well, while fall is almost here and hopefully the winter will be mild there and here, give Salsa Dog a hug for us. She seems like a great companion to you. Blessings, love from Michigan, Frank and Rita. So Frank and Rita, thank you for that. This was sent late August. They've also included a monetary gift of $10. So thank you, you two, for that. I know you've definitely sent me letters in the past. Uh, it's always great to see your name for mail day. Uh, and yes, hopefully the uh, winter months will be mild. So far here in the fall months, it's been kind of like fall. Uh, we have had these chilly mornings here where it's, you know, late 30s, early 40s uh, in temperature. Uh, that's Fahrenheit for anyone out there who might be in Celsius, but yeah, uh, it, it feels like fall here. Hopefully winter feels a little bit more like fall than it does like winter, but thank you for that. Hopefully everything's going well with you two. And uh, this is our first package of the day. This one's from Dan E. in Ohio. So thank you, Dan. I think this was probably my oldest package I did have. We have a letter here. Uh-oh. That looks very kind of familiar, but not familiar. It looks like a some sort of auto part. It's from Ford. It says trim so much. <laughs> we'll see what this is about. Uh, yeah, they, uh, there's a lot of... All right, we'll just get into this. Hey, Taco, I was watching your latest video. and noticed at the end of it, when you're showing off that concrete planter, you still had a missing plastic piece on your Ford Transit van. Yes, I do. I have a missing plastic piece on the right. We can't have that, so I'm sending you a plastic piece so your van will be complete and those wires stay safe and dry. Well, thank you for that. I hope it fits. The guy at the Ford dealership said it should. If not, eBay it or give it away or see if your Ford dealer will let you swap it out for one that does. Dan from Ohio enclosed his $50 so you can buy yourself a few gallons of gas and maybe something to eat. Be well. Dan, thank you for that. Thank you for the monetary gift of $50. Uh, that truly means a lot. Uh, I know... Uh, Gas has kind of got expensive right now and, um, you know, everything kind of going on in the world. So uh, thank you for the monetary gift, Dan. I greatly appreciate that. And thank you for going out and buying this. Uh, I know my videos are kind of on delay, uh, but after the end of this video, I will actually go out there and put this onto my van. Hopefully, if I remember, I'll do it in this video. If not, I will. Uh... You know what? Let's go do that right now. Sounds like a great idea. All right. So hopefully this thing should fit right in there. When I first opened, it looked like it was. Hmm. It's going. It's gotta go like. It's a little bit different, but it looks like it should fit. Maybe. Huh? I don't know, Dan. 
Oh, maybe it goes on the inside. There you go. Yeah, that should work. Oh, wow, look at that. Does it snap in? It ain't moving much. Awesome. Greatly appreciate it, Dan. I know my videos are kind of on delay, so you'll probably see this not uh, not installed within the next week or two weeks of videos, but I'm telling you right now, it's in there right now. So you'll probably see in like two weeks of videos. But thank you, Dan, for that. That is, uh, I didn't know how easy it was to get that, and that actually bothered me so much. So I greatly appreciate that. That is awesome. Thank you for the wonderful gift, and thank you for the monetary gift as well. Jumping into the next package, we have one from Marion Keith in Colonial Beach, Virginia. This is addressed to Timothy Taco Stacks. <laughs> my name also isn't Timothy. I know there's kind of a rumor going around my name is Timothy. My name is not Timothy. I will tell you that. Oh, hey, wow, that is a... I mean, it's a taco, but... So, funny thing here. Uh, my freshman year of college... Um, I was in a suite, so in a suite, it's like a dorm, like, you know, it was just a normal dorm, but it was like three different dorm rooms, a part of one, so we shared like one bathroom, one shower. Sauce is now chewing on something. Um, but one of my suite meets was actually from Colonial Beach, so I haven't seen that, uh, that town in a while. He, uh, he didn't make it past like the first month and a half of school, though. He, uh, Let's just say he got a little bit too, uh, too party-like. He was too much of a party animal. He didn't make it very far. This is very interesting. I say that because... Taco Stacks. Love your channel while treasure hunting and found a taco that had to be sent to you. Happy treasure hunting. Mary and Keith from Colonial Beach, Virginia. Thank you, you two. Um, this is very interesting because... I have a handful of tacos, dog toys, but I don't have one that's like this. I don't know. He looks like he has a tan on him. Usually the ones I find are yellow. Um, so this is very cool. Thank you for that. Thank you for the wonderful dog toy of a taco. And hopefully you two are doing well in, in Virginia Beach or uh, Colonial Beach, right? Colonial, Colonial Beach. Colonial Beach. There you go. Not Virginia Beach. Um, but thank you, you two. Greatly appreciate it. And uh, hopefully all is well with you and you're staying dry and warm this fall month. Thank you. Here we have a package from Brenda in Oklahoma. <laughs> we have a little uh, Donald Duck logo also. It feels like a license plate. It is a license plate. All right. Just for you, Taco, because you're special and thought of with a smile. Hope you don't already have an Oklahoma tag. Keep at it, Brenda B. Thank you, Brenda. This was also sent in August, so I apologize for getting these things so late. Uh, I do have Oklahoma. But I don't have this Oklahoma. Very, very cool plate here. I, uh, I just recently went to Wyoming and Montana. Uh, those should probably be the next couple videos I'll be posting um, on the channel. And uh, the crazy thing there, as I see this Oklahoma plate, is that in Montana and in Wyoming, they all had plates, license plates, but they're almost all different. And I, I'm pretty sure I didn't see any one um, that I actually own. So similar to Oklahoma, I guess you guys kind of change out your design or you have different options. Uh, so there's probably a lot of different designs. So Brenda, I don't have this Oklahoma plate. Thank you for the wonderful gift. I'll add it to my collection of license plates. A new one to add, a different one than the ones I already own. Thank you for that. And uh, hopefully everything is well with you in Oklahoma. And thank you for the wonderful item. One that I do not own yet. Very, very cool. Greatly appreciate it. All right, this one is from Robert and Lorraine in Washington. Ooh, this is packed really nice. Dear Taco, my wife and I have been watching and enjoying your channel for a number of years. When I saw how much you enjoy the Beach Boys, I thought I'd make you a Beach Boys wagon in my wood shop. I grew up back in the 1960s on the California coast when surfing and the... Boy, and the uh, California sound of the Beach Boys was taken off. They were one of my favorite groups, and I appreciate that the younger generation enjoys great music. Salsa is such a beautiful golden retriever, and it's our favorite breed of dog. We have two right now, Madison and Oliver. Those are great names, by the way. They give us so much joy and are best companion dogs. Oliver says hi to Salsa. Wink, wink. <laughs> 
Uh, I guess Oliver must be a boy. You are a great example of good work ethics, and we enjoy all of your content. Garbage picking, storage, selling at the flea marks. There was a time when my wife and I sold Pyrex and other collectibles on eBay and did very well until the crash of 2008. All take care. Give Sauce a big hug. Best wishes, Robert and Lorraine. I put the surfboard inside the car. Oh, this looks awesome. You can't say I have anything that was designed by a wood shop. <laughs> Two salsa from your biggest fan, Oliver. And it's, uh, it's a little dog biscuit. Thank you for that. This is amazing. Very well packed. May, uh, well, Oliver, your best bud over here is gonna probably chew on your cardboard box you sent. That is very interesting. Is that a new thing? So this was sent Priority Mail, and now the inside is Priority Mail Express. So there are boxes when you fold them a certain way. That is, I didn't know they did that for the medium flat rates. I thought that was only like one of those triangle boxes. Wow, this looks amazing. I love the color on it as well. Wow. That is, that's crazy cool, that's awesome. It even has my license plate on the back. That is really cool. Wow, that is. Take a look at that. That is made out of wood. That is really well done. I know this probably took some time to make. I really like the paneling on the side. That is awesome. And we have the little surfboard. Wonder if... And it fits perfectly on the roof. Look at that. That is awesome. I love the, the colors as well. You picked some awesome colors. Really gave off the nostalgic vibe here. That is well done. I don't know where I'm going to display it, but it's not going back into a box and being put away. I gotta figure out a place to display it, whether it be maybe on my desk, in my workroom. Eventually I want to get an office built, but that'll be for another day, another year, another time, maybe another lifetime. Uh, but this would look awesome in it. Thank you, YouTube, for this wonderful gift. Greatly appreciate it. This thing is amazing. Well done. A little Beach Boys-esque. Woodshop made car. Very, very cool. Thanks for that. Uh, I'll definitely hang on to this for a very long time and hopefully be able to display it in a place where I can see it almost daily. So thank you for that. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well with you in Washington and uh, keep surfing on. I don't know what the Beach Boys really say, what their slogan is, but they have a lot of surf songs. So greatly appreciate it. Hopefully all is well and thanks again for the wonderful gift. Thank you. So we're down to two packages here. Um, this one is from Steve in Minnesota. I think we have two things in here. That's to me. With another shirt. That's to someone else. I'll definitely give that. So I'll put that over there. Thank you, Steve, for this wonderful gift. Minnesota. We do have a letter here. Taco, saw that this, this sweatshirt is doing me in. Taco, saw the shirt and somehow you came to mind. Not that what's printed on the shirt describes you. It doesn't, but it was the L word got my attention. A word I believe you use from time to time. Enjoy the shirt. Please pass the second shirt on. Thanks, Steve. Let's see what this is about, Steve. It looks like a very long word there. Haha. <laughs> That's a great, I gotta, <laughs> uh, I don't even know where I thought of this word, but I, I, someone used to say it all the time. I think, think I used it a lot back in my heyday. I hate it when people accuse me of lollygagging when it's quite clear I am dilly-dallying. <laughs> lollygagging. No lollygaggers around here. Um, I can't remember if a coach said that, like we were running onto the field or walking on, he's like, quit lollygagging or something. I don't remember where that, and then we started using it forever and I started adding my vocab. But Steve, thank you for the wonderful shirt. <laughs> it's actually great. I wish it was still t-shirt season because I would definitely wear this around like the flea market. I think it'd be awesome. But uh, thank you, Steve, for the wonderful t-shirt. Hopefully all is well with you in Minnesota. And uh, you'll see this next year, or if we ever get any warm days from here on out, which I don't know how many more we'll have. Uh, I'll definitely put it to great use. But thank you for the wonderful shirt. It's awesome. Greatly appreciate it. Thanks again. All right, and for the last package here, we have one from Debbie T in Indiana. So this looks like a larger package here. 
Right on top we have a scented pear soap. So I have a little soap there. Very cool. Uh-oh. Feels very... <laughs> oh, jeez. I saw this and thought of you, so I had to buy it. I hope you like it. Can't wait to see you in it. Love your show. Flesh your dog, Debbie. I will definitely let her know. I did uh, share only if you want to. I don't... Holy smokes. Wow. Wow. All right, Debbie, thank you for that. There is a very generous donation here, or a gift, I should say, um, from Debbie. Thank you for that. You do not have to send money, um, but thank you. Thank you for that. There is a very generous donation in here, or should I say gift? I shouldn't say donation, but Debbie, thank you for that. Uh, you don't have to send money, but Debbie, that is truly appreciated. I will definitely put it towards a storage unit here in the future months, since I know that was on the... Uh, the uh, the letter, um, but yeah, Debbie T, thank you for that. That truly means a lot. That uh, that that's very nice of you, and you don't have to do that, but thank you for it. Now I I wonder what this is. I wonder if it's a costume. Said I look forward to you seeing it. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. I just scared salsa. <laughs> so I think I was at, where was I? I was at Target or something and I saw it there and I was like, you know, maybe I should buy it, but I don't really go to like any parties. Wow. We have a taco, taco costume here. I don't know if you got this from Target. Got to take this off. Salsa's chewing on a cardboard box. All right, Debbie, I'll put this on. I know it's not Halloween just yet, but I have a Halloween costume now for uh, Wolf I Ever Need. If Salsa can ever let me put it on. The way of doing this. I hear a Velcro going. Oh, goodness. This ain't working out so well. What am I doing wrong here? What am I not doing right? Oh. For some reason, I feel like this isn't this isn't fitting right. I feel like one of those like babies, you know, like those those back things, the baby. You know, those like the back things that the babies have, and it has like a little thing up there so they can just like fall asleep. That's how I feel right now. How do I look? It feels like abs with like tentacles on them. Debbie, thank you for the wonderful gift. Thank you for the monetary gift, as well as thank you for my new Halloween costume that will um, <laughs> certainly be the, uh, the pride of the party. It's actually pretty comfortable. You know, I look probably really ridiculous. I'm now a taco. <laughs> so thank you for that, Debbie. Thank you as well for the gift, and uh, thank you as well for my new Halloween costume. I greatly appreciate it. I will definitely forward on the message as well. And um, thank you. Thank you for the wonderful gift and thank you for an awesome mail day. Taco out. All right, everyone. Thank you for another wonderful mail day video. Thank you for awesome gifts as well. Thank you to everyone who sent wonderful packages. Salsa is really getting a, a sniff out of this. All right, now she stopped. But thank you to everyone who sent packages. If anyone out there wants to send anything, I will try to do a little bit more mail day videos here before the end of the year. I know I kind of get sidetracked, but uh, thank you. Thank you for all the wonderful packages. My PO Box information is in, in the description below. If anyone wants to send anything, and enjoy the rest of your week. Thanks for all the wonderful gifts, and hopefully I'll see you guys uh, shortly. Probably tomorrow, right? Uh, but thanks again. Till next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.